The FBI today released uh, another 100 documents from its investigation of Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server and whether classified or sensitive government information was mishandled. And one of those uh, documents is the recounting of an FBI interview with an FBI official who says he received a call from uh, Patrick Kennedy, the Under Secretary for Management at the State Department, seeking to uh, lower the classification level of one of the emails exchanged on Hillary Clinton's server that, that was going to be released publicly in 2015. The email in question had to do with the Benghazi attacks in 2012 on the U.S. diplomatic compound there and whether arrest had been made in that case. A portion at the FBI's insistence of that email was listed as classified and redacted. Essentially, Kennedy wanted the FBI to change that decision to put the classification level downward so he could then use a FOIA exemption to block email uh, release of that email altogether. Um, another arguably more troubling part of the exchange was that the FBI official then suggested that if he were to look into doing that, that Kennedy could help him get more slots approved for FBI personnel to be stationed in Iraq. Republicans have seized on that as an indication of a quid pro quo and that uh, officials in the Obama uh, State Department as well as the Obama Justice Department were colluding to lessen damage uh, to Hillary Clinton by the public release of her emails. The Republicans are screaming cover up and, and saying that you know some of these new documents to come to light bolsters their case that there was some sort of cover up uh, within the Obama administration. Uh, you know, I guess the counter arguments to that would be that these documents are coming to light. They are being released publicly. The FBI was under no obligation to release these documents. Uh, and at the end of the day, both the State Department and the Justice Department are saying there was no quid pro quo and nothing improper occurred here. Clinton has largely, beyond saying that her pr use of a private email server was a mistake, that she would not do it again, and that she does intend to be as transparent as possible if she becomes president, uh, you know, Republicans have also indicated that they do not intend to let up on these issues if she were to win. Uh, if Clinton becomes presidency, there is a subsect of Republicans in Congress who are already talking about impeachment proceedings, uh, using these issues as, as an example of things that they may bring up in an attempt to do harm to a President Clinton. Uh, but Hillary Clinton is certainly making every effort she can to put this behind her and to move forward and to become president. Um, so, no, I, I don't think these controversies end with Election Day.